Hey, hey, Davina here and welcome to my channel, the number one place for women to find insight on confident, healthy aging and wholeness inside and out. In today's video, I am interviewing naturopath Ariana Anderson and we are talking all about hormones. <laughs> so if you're a woman and you have hormones, you need to hear this interview. Oh, it was so, so good. I can't wait for you to check it out. There are resources attached to the description of this video she gave reading resources that can educate you and give you some steps to take to balance your hormones as well as some product suggestions and resources for those so you can find all of that information as well as their contact information in the description of this video and with that being said here we go okay hey hey everybody i hope that this is working correctly facebook changed up their technology so <laughs> if you can hear us if you can see us if you could just drop a comment to let us know that everything is working that would be fantastic so i'm really excited because uh you guys know that i wanted to start doing some interviews with people that i feel like can just bring a lot of value to us as women and so my very first guest for this year is ariana anderson and i met her a little over a year ago and we've had some really great conversations and I feel like she has so much value to add to every woman everywhere just in regards to natural health and hormones and oh thank you Tina awesome <laughs> um, and so I'm going to turn it over to her in just a second but before we do that I just want to let you know that we're also doing a giveaway so it's going to be a relaxation theme and there's going to be an essential oil that she's going to tell you about and a bath pillow and a candle so that you can give yourself some self-love <laughs> so the way that you get in on the giveaway is just to comment below ask questions invite your bestie to check this out and tag her in the comments when she accepts and this is also going to be available on my youtube once this is all over and we get it loaded up there. So for another entry, you can subscribe and comment there also. So with that being said, Ariana? This I think is a pretty important piece of this for women um, is that when our ovaries get to a point where they're starting to feel like they're gonna close up shop, right? Um, what's interesting about that is your adrenal gland is, is going to start helping with progesterone and estrogen production. Well, what your adrenal gland does is it manages your stress response. So if you think of women who are just doing 10 million things every day, because that's kind of how our culture is, right? We, we multitask, we get lots of things done. But our adrenal glands are usually, by the time we get to perimenopause and menopause, they're tapped out. So, you know, if your ovaries are like, yep, we're closing shop, you're going to have to start doing part of this work. And your adrenals are like, uh, I don't think so, right? And so then we start to have a problem with hormone production. And so the main things for that, like practical things that you can take away from that, because you really have to support the adrenal gland. Number one is, is blood sugar. And I know that, that that's kind of not, not a fun topic uh, because we all love our starch and our sugar. But blood sugar really truly is one of the biggest and most core uh, foundational issues with hormone management. And, and so people that like to read, I did bring some things that I think were helpful. This one is a book by Dr. Hyman. He's a medical doctor. He's, um, he's actually the director of functional medicine at the Cleveland Clinic. And th this is what he taught. It's all about blood sugar, but like his step two is all about um, hormones. And like he has a quiz in there that you can take, um, which is on page 95 and 94 and 95. Um, but he talks extensively about how blood sugar is a big, huge problem with, um, and it needs, it's a foundational um, solution to managing hormones. And so that's one thing, blood sugar, but then also just stress in general. So I think we just, we just have to come to, um, uh, to value self-care and also know what our, our limits are. Because I think a lot of times with women, we're, we're moms, we're, we're, you know, we're head, head of certain departments where we're, we do everything. Um, and, and then we, we run our self ragged. And so self-care, so like sleep, um, finding time just for yourself. I'm an introvert and I had to learn along the way that I needed to have time by myself. It wasn't selfish. It was actually a need. And that's something that helps me to maintain 
my own ability to maintain my stress levels. Um, because if your adrenals are stressed out, you will have hormone imbalance. So those are probably the, the two biggest, but there's other things, but biggest things in, in my practice with women and hormone imbalance. That yeah, that? yeah, that is great information. I'm so glad that you shared that book because I'll definitely be getting, <laughs> I'll definitely be getting that book. And I, yeah, stress like uh, this past year without going in detail, I've just had a really like rough year. And the other day, my husband has this thing on his phone where it like tests your, you know, whatever. And he's like, well, let's test your stress level. And I'm like, I'm not stressed. And his thing, like it showed that I was super stressed. And I'm like, well, I don't know what to do about that because I don't feel stressed. So I feel like what you're saying, like you might not even know, but if your hormones are all out of whack, you know, like, yeah. why are we so complicated? Like, <laughs> like God, why did you make us so complicated? <laughs> um, okay, so my next question for you is, um, obviously I think you kind of answered, you kind of answered it, you know, as, Oh, do you have something to say? No, go ahead. You, you go ahead. Okay. <laughs> um, you kind of answered it as far as like your hormones, that would also influence a lot of your fatigue and, you know, having trouble sleeping and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, that was one of the questions that I had gotten when I had asked the ladies in the group was like, are there some things that you can suggest to help people sleep that are natural when melatonin is just not cutting it? Yeah, so, um, so how it should work is that in the morning, we should, so cortisol is an adrenal hormone, okay? And that, that should be highest in the morning. It, it wakes you up. And then as it goes through the day, it should be decreasing, decreasing, decreasing. And then melatonin should be lowest in the morning and it should go up at night, right? And so the problem is, is that a lot of times that cortisol isn't being stimulated, so we're tired in the morning. But what happens is, is we go through the day and we have uh, sugar midday or coffee or something that spikes adrenaline. So then we, we have like a little bit of a peak and then sometimes it drops and then it goes back up right at night. So we have too much cortisol at night. So the first thing that I would say is that um, now, I, I, these particular herbs, I, I sell in the office with patients that are under care, but you can, you can go out and find uh, high quality suppliers out there um, that have this. But um, the one herb that's pretty, um, I, I haven't really had anybody that has an issue with it is ashwagandha. And in my, in my case, um, I have people use what's called ashwagandha complex through MediHerb, which is a standard process, um, uh, a company that standard process um, sells through, through there. Um, uh, doctors. So they only sell through doctors. So, but a lot of chiropractors do have it. So if you're under the care of a chiropractor, you can ask them about it or you can find it online, but it's called ashwagandha. And what it does is it helps to support nervous system response. So like if we're having like a spike, uh, you know, where we're really, we have a lot of anxiety, then we're dumping out and, and it's causing us to just have this uh, imbalance um, sleep pattern too. A lot of times ashwagandha can help. Um, and so they've, they've actually had a lot of clinical studies since I think the 50s on, on its ability to regulate the nervous system response. So that would probably be one of the best things. Um, there is a supplement that uh, I do use in the office. Again, this is something that is, you have to be under care, but if somebody really wanted something like this for a short term period of time, um, it, it's called Calm Day. Uh, by Nutritional Frontiers, but they only sell through doctors too. However, if anybody did want something like that, I could maybe try to find a doctor that might might have it. Uh, but or or also you could just look at the ingredients um, in the bottle and then try and find something that's the equivalent. Now, in general, though, uh, I try to stick with whole food, um, like that supplement Calm Day. It has amino acids and B vitamins. Uh, I think there's GABA in there that helps. Um, and there's B6, B3, a couple different other B vitamins that are precursors to neurotransmitters that help your body to be able to make these neurotransmitters for sleep. But the idea is, is it helps you sleep so that over time you won't need it anymore. Because part of the problem is if you're not sleeping, you're not making neurotransmitters. And so it's kind of like a catch 21. And so we want to get that sleep cycle moving 
so that you'll start making your own neuro neurotransmitters and not then not need the supplement anymore. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. Because, I mean, we really want, at least our focus in our office is we want to help support your body's natural ability to do these things, um, not make you dependent on a, on a supplement. Right. And so, um, yeah, so those are probably the two things that I use the most to help with sleep. Okay. Can you spell that? Which one? Uh, Ashwagandha. Conde? Is Ashwag that how you said it? Oh, Calm Day. C-A-L, just calm, calm day. Oh, calm day. Okay, calm day. Got it. <laughs> okay, that was way simpler than I was hearing it. <laughs> Nutritional Frontiers, and they have different practitioners around, around the country that they sell through. Um, okay. But it doesn't have melatonin, but it okay. does have um, nutrients that do help with the sleep cycle. Well, that sounds like it's almost better because I feel like melatonin is – from what you've said, that's kind of like a quick fix, you know, like get you to sleep. But this seems like maybe it's more in that family of trying to balance things out to get your body back on track. Um, so, and I think that's always better, you know, than a quick, quick fix. Um, so what would you say, like, how does, and again, I know it's like all this big ball of, <laughs> but as far as somebody who their biggest concern, they get to that you know, that, that middle age part, um, something I'm experiencing, you know, I've always been fairly healthy. I try to exercise and I just have like this extra five pounds of fluff. <laughs> not like it does not want to go anywhere. Um, and I know that that can be a, a big issue for people. Um, obviously your diet and that kind of a thing, but do you have any advice for people who are specifically struggling like with their weight, um, as far as like hormones go? Yeah. Well, I, I know it seems simple, but this is absolutely the root problem always with that, and it's blood sugar, always. But that being said, like in our, in our practice, um, like we have seven pillars of health. The first four are digestion, detoxification, immune support, and blood sugar management. Those are like our core four, and then after that is hormones, nervous system, and circulatory system. But what I have found is if those first four are supported, over time, the other three kind of sort themselves out. It's like those systems just cannot regulate properly if you aren't digesting well, because that's how you get actual nutrients in your body. So you need to make sure you have proper enzyme support and right uh, microbiome in your gut. Um, you need to make sure you're detoxifying. Now, this is an interesting thing. If your body can't get rid of a toxin, um, like say, you know, say somebody's having a hard time getting rid of certain kinds of chemicals, let's just say. Um, it's going to store it in fat. And so in that case, if we don't support detoxification, so our liver, our kidneys, um, your body will very, it won't give up the fat cell because it's a storage for, for chemicals. So that's another thing. You want to make sure that you're supporting your liver and your kidneys and their lymphatics with things like cruciferous vegetables. That's things like broccoli, kale, cabbage, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts. Um, we need to have at least one of those every day, if not more. And so that, that helps to make sure that our body's able to um, detoxify properly. Another thing that's really helpful with that is uh, dandelion root extract. Doesn't taste good, I'm not gonna lie to you, but it does help, it helps to make, uh, to decongest the liver so that you're able to um, detoxify properly. So, because if, if, if it's a toxic overload issue, your body just will be very resistant to give up those fat cells until that, uh, that those toxins are able to be removed healthfully in the body. Um, and then, you, you know, immune support and then, but the fourth is sugar management. And I'm telling you, I, I just had um, a lady that I've been working with. She is, she is just a model athlete. She's in her uh, mid forties and recently had just gained maybe 15 pounds. She could not lose it. Now keep in mind, this is like, she's a runner, swimmer, biker, she just could not lose it. And she just came in the other day, she'd lost 10 of it. And it was because she went on, again, a, this, is, this is important, a clean, clean, whole food ketogenic diet. I don't have to do it all the time. But this is, I mean, cause she, I've been working with her for about six to eight months. She could not lose this weight, but when she did it, and again, I, I can't overemphasize, it needs to be clean, whole food, ketogenic diet. We're not talking about just eating meat and cheese, but a lot of vegetables 
things like that. Um, and she, the weight came off. So blood sugar, it's always blood sugar. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you said that because, um, that was the other thing that you and I had actually talked about before, because I had some, I guess, hesitations about the whole ketogenic, you know, ketogenic, because people are like, oh, you can eat cheese and you can eat pork rinds and you can eat. And I'm like, that is not healthy. <laughs> and you were like, yes, but you can do it in a way where it is healthy. So, um, so that is good to know. Not like the cheating <laughs> keto where you just like eat all the, you people know, dirty taco keto. shells out of cheese kind of a thing, you know, but he healthy <laughs> way to do it. So the book that you recommended, um, does a, is a lot of this information also in the book? Yes. Yes. That one. And then there's another one that I think is also helpful, um, by Dr. Berg and it's called the seven principles of fat burning. He okay. actually creates nutritional strategies based on, um, sort of like hormone types. So, um, a lot of times when someone has issues with thyroid Berg, and it's called The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. He actually creates nutritional strategies based on um, sort of like hormone types. I'm here in my book. Um, a lot of times when someone has issues with thyroid bird, and it's called The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. He actually creates nutritional strategies based on. Can you hear me? Can you hear me still? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, it was, I could hear my, it was a recording of my voice. I don't know what was happening. Yeah, I heard the echo. <laughs> I think I fixed it. So anyway, um, sometimes when people have thyroid issues, it, it, there's a connection with the liver. And then people that have ovary issues and adrenal issues, um, sometimes there's, uh, there's different types of nutritional strategies that are better depending on which organ system or gland system is, is weak. So I think this was, this was also a really good book too. Okay. And they, he talks about blood sugar as well. Okay, great. That's fantastic. Um, so I just had a couple other questions. If you have a couple minutes, there were a couple questions that came in um, from the comments. Um, the first question was, uh, what specific would you have for hot flashes? Which, as you can see, I just had a little bit of one while we're sitting here. I turned beet red. <laughs> Like, oh, I feel like you're burning up from the inside out. So is there something that would, I know overall hormone, but is there something specific that you would recommend to people who are having issues with hot flashes? Well, it does, it does depend on the person, but um, that again, hot flashes are typically a symptom of uh, adrenals not being able to support estrogen production, progesterone and estrogen. So um, these are the two things. Again, uh, these ones will, you'll have to get through a doctor that sells them, but adrenal complex is um, one I use sometimes. It, it's, it's several herbs, but the main one is Romania. Okay. Um, that one, and that helps support um, adrenal function. And then of course the ashwagandha. Because this one, what this does is it helps, chill, it helps to chill you out. <laughs> That's what it does. And so, um, that both of these help. There is another one. If you do happen to go to a, um, um, a practitioner that sells standard process, there's another one that, and you can't, you really can't get this anywhere else. You can't find it online. It's, it's called adrenal tonic and it has ashwagandha and Romania and a couple other things. It is the best thing I have ever seen for hot flashes. Like the lady I was just telling you about that couldn't lose 15 pounds. She's also a doctor. And um, when she first came in, she was having hot flashes constantly. She couldn't sleep at night. She was, I remember her saying, I just want to, I want to sleep. I just want to go underneath my exam table like all day. So it was horrible. And she's having maybe once a month now. And, but that's, she, she calls it happy juice. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's called adrenal tonic by Medi Herb. Find a chiropractor because I'm an ND, but there most a lot of chiropractors sell standard process, um, and they you can get it through them if you're under their care. That's yeah, that. yeah, I know my my local chiropractor does. Yeah, for sure. Um, well, I feel like this is just such great information. Uh, thank you so much for coming on and sharing. And then I had one other question, which was: uh, Is there anything specific about water retention, and is that hormone related that you can do for like for water retention? Um, yeah, uh, it, it definitely can. Uh, it, most of the time it has to do with the adrenals again. Um, those, those, think, those little adrenals. 
Um, but You're the culprit. <laughs> there's, there's a lot going on with that. But like, um, may, obviously making sure, ironically, when you have water retention, often, oftentimes it's because the person's dehydrated. So make sure that you are drinking half your weight in ounces of water every day. Try to get that in before seven so it doesn't keep you up all night, you know, going to the bathroom because you don't want to interrupt your sleep. But um, a lot of times, if your body feels like it's not getting enough water, it will retain it in the kidneys and in other tissues because it, it, it needs it. It needs water. So um, a lot of times, it's just that people are dehydrated. Um, I would start with that first. Um, if that continues to be a problem, um, then I'd probably support the kidneys and again, probably do something to support the adrenal glands as well. Okay, fantastic. So Ariana, if someone is, you are in, your practice is in Perrysburg, Ohio, is that right? Or Waterville? <laughs> Waterville. Waterville. I don't know why I always think that. <laughs> I know where you live. Um, so, uh, so you're in Waterville. So uh, when we talked, you had said that anybody that was within driving distance that wanted to make an appointment uh, at your office, um, you had like a, a class that they could attend. Can you tell people how to find you and how to get in to see you if that's something they wanted to pursue? Sure. Yeah. So, and you can, you can check our practice information out on Facebook. It's Anderson Family Chiropractic and Naturopathic Care. Um, and we have, an, we have event pages for our free lectures in the office. We have one uh, every month. The next one we have is next week uh, on Thursday. Um, I think it's the 6th, February 6th at 6.30. And it's going to be on food allergies, um, sensitivities, and intolerance. Um, and so anybody that does come to one of our free lectures, we do offer free screenings for um, my technique, which is nutrition response testing, which is a form of applied kinesiology. And then we also give them a $50 um, discount. Um, you can call us at um, the office, which is 419-878-8312. Um, or you can RSVP on the event. Um, our, our, our lecture events, which is uh, on Facebook. Okay, and I will, I will go through uh, once, we, once we wrap up the interview and I'll put some of the highlighted information um, in the description for you guys in case you did wanna want to check that out. So for our giveaway event, again, if you wanna get in on the giveaway, which has a self-love relaxation theme, uh, you're going to get a bathtub pillow and a soy candle. And Ari also is gonna send you a bottle of a special bath. You can use it in the bath, but not, not only in the bath, right? <laughs> and so she's gonna tell you a little bit about that. Yeah, it's my mom is a certified aromatherapist and an herbalist. and a part of my history is that I, I had some autoimmune conditions that were affecting my thyroid. And, and, uh, and so she created this for me. It actually supports thyroid and adrenal function um, specifically for me. So it's called Ariana's oil, but um, yeah, so this one, we're going to send this out to whoever wins and you can put it in your bath. You can put it right on your, on your skin. It is in a carrier oil. Um, and so, yep. And it has, let's see, the things in it are, Peppermint, lemongrass, frankincense, clove, myrrh, myrtle, and geranium. Um, and therefore supporting hormones and uh, specifically the thyroid and adrenal glands. Fantastic. And you said, can you send me, I think you said that there's a link that if someone wanted to purchase that particular product that they could get it. Could you send me that link so I could put it in the description for anybody who might want to get some? I can. And it would be, it's actually my mom's Facebook page, but I'll send that to you. Okay. All right. Fantastic. Well, you guys, Ari, thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day. I know that you're a full-time mom and you're busy at the office and I really appreciate you taking the time to come in and share your knowledge. I always respect and love everything that you have to share. And so thanks for coming and you guys, thanks for watching. And again, to get in on the giveaway, leave a comment and invite your bestie when she accepts the invite 
tagger because all of our besties need a little help with hormones, right? <laughs> and uh, within the next 24 hours, this video will also be up on my YouTube channel and you can get another chance to enter in the giveaway there. You can just subscribe to the channel, leave a comment on YouTube, and the winner is going to be chosen between those two places on Sunday. So again, thank you so much for coming. If you guys have questions, go ahead and drop those in the comments. And uh, if Ari has a couple minutes throughout the day, maybe she can come back and, and uh, answer a couple questions. If there are any other like different things that come up, Ari, is that okay? Sorry, I should kind of put you on the spot. <laughs> no, fine. Awesome. All right, you guys have a fantastic Thursday. Thanks for joining for the very first interview in here. We're going to have one once a month and this is Davida signing out until next time. See you later. I hope that you found that information as valuable as I did. I cannot wait to dive into those books and start making some changes to balance out my hormones. Don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notified every time I release new content, which is once a week. And don't forget to enter into the draw into the giveaway. I know in the video I said Sunday, but I've actually decided to stretch that out here on YouTube until next Thursday, February 6th, the one week. So all you have to do to get entered into the relaxation giveaway Way is subscribe to this channel and drop subscribe in the comments. Now, if you want to join in on the conversation, you can also join the group Life Over 40 on Facebook. I will link it below with all the other resources linked below as well, and you can join in on the conversation. So this is Davida signing out. See you next time.